Welcome back to Under the Hood. In our last episode, we took a close look at scalability and we described it as the means of managing complexity. We stopped short of discussing how complexity manifests in graphs and how Neo4j deals with it, so let's talk about it now. One underlying assumption so far has been that complexity increases over time. As you understand more about your domain and you incorporate that knowledge in the application, the interactions you model increase in complexity and, of course, put more of a strain on your database. Let's use time then as the basis for an example and see how it affects our scalability requirements. Most applications deal with data points by casting them as entities, collections of information that have meaning as standalone constructs, usually an identity, and represent first-class citizens in the domain. This could be users of a social application, pieces of equipment in a telecommunications network, or steps in a complicated data processing pipeline. Whatever the use case, in the abstract, entities are connected with each other to create more complicated constructs and workflows. We will use a web store as our working example, but these ideas apply virtually everywhere. As we build our application, we start off simple by allowing the user to browse and purchase items. We also want to have some ability to make recommendations. And a standard way of doing this is the friend of friend pattern, where we identify users that have purchased the same item, see what other choices they've made, and suggest those as alternatives. There is nothing revolutionary about this, but it's a good start, and we can see how this design can be conceived before the application is put into production. Even a simple setup like this demonstrates increasing complexity. As the application runs and accumulates user interactions, the number of purchases the database has to process to create recommendations increases. More interestingly, the number of recommendations you can make will also start getting bigger and bigger as more users have more purchases in common. What is happening is that your dataset is becoming a more accurate reflection of the real world and starts becoming more complex. You need to start worrying about what the best recommendations are, how to score and sort them, and how to measure their effectiveness. All that without even extending the schema in any way. As you can see, even such a simple application is already starting to create complex patterns purely through data accumulation. But labeling data accumulation as complexity, a problem that needs to be managed, isn't quite correct. It is equally valid and much more useful to look at what's happening in our example as knowledge that is emerging from our data. In this particular case, the increase in the number of recommendations tells us that we are beginning to know enough about user interactions to start making more accurate predictions. We could start employing clustering algorithms or take into account additional information, such as product categories. There is also another way that time appears as a driver for increasing complexity. Our assumptions and needs change over time. As our system grows, we grow to demand more from our data, and it is impossible to know from the start how the system will evolve. To reinforce this point, let's improve our recommendations by collecting more information from our users. We can allow for more interaction among users, centered around products and purchases. By adding comment sections on products, feedback forms, or user forums. Besides creating a richer experience for the user, this also creates more meaningful connections between users, connections that can be used for constructing a more context-aware network of interactions and drive better recommendations. Of course, this increases complexity again, this time by extending the schema. 
We chose to expand our domain because we knew we were missing knowledge. It's an opportunity for our application to know more about the world, integrate it appropriately, and use it to drive better recommendations. Taking a step back from this particular example, we can now see more clearly how scalability is all about complexity management. What we need is a database that can accept new sources of data, integrate them with what we already have, and allow us to explore it with ease. We want the least possible impact on our queries when the schema is expanded or modified, so that the ones we've already written and tuned can take advantage of the new knowledge introduced in the system. If you learned one thing from this video, I want it to be this. Managing complexity is equivalent to extracting knowledge. We saw a simple example of this and identified some friction points that may appear between application and the database. What's left to do is see how graph databases deal with this at the data model level and how Neo4j offers the technology required to gain insights from complex datasets.